Hello and welcome to the studio. Today I wanted to give you a quick tip for recycling your backing boards. So if you use our registration device, it comes with an MDF insert and MDF has almost tripled in price over the last year and I'm very keen to save it. So I would like to reuse my board. Now I recommend if you are using like I do artists lino sticking the lino to the MDF using a flooring tile adhesive the sort of thing you stick carpet tiles down with. And the problem with that is that although it holds the lino completely steady, it's almost impossible to remove the lino at the end of the printing, and so you lose the board as well. The other alternative is to use a double-sided carpet tape like this, but the risk with that is that it's a temporary fix and the lino may move, which is a disaster if you're doing a reduction print. And also if you're using a printing press, you can actually end up with little dark ridges where the tape is because it acts like a sort of extra packing for the print when it goes into the press. So I have a solution um, that was suggested to me by uh, an engineer who uses this technique for attaching things temporarily. So it's very simple. All you need to do is to take your MDF and cover it with parcel tape. So here I have a piece that's covered in parcel tape. And the thing to remember is you want the tape on one side of the MDF. And if it overlaps when you're laying it out, trim it because if you have it wrapped around the board and you're using our registration device, it might affect the way the board sits in the device. So trim it off. And here I'm just using um, a transparent packing tape, but the brown stuff would work just as well. And once it's coated, then I can go back to my adhesive. And this stuff here, this carpet tile adhesive is for sticking um, plastic tiles down and things like that. So it's going to stick to the plastic no problem. And I'm just going to put a nice layer of that onto the back of my lino here. So you can see now I put that layer on. And I'm just going to stick it down to the tape. Let me cover that up because it smells. Put that out of the way. So I'm going to pop it down onto the tape and then I am going to put a weight on it while it dries. Now that is going to stick as sturdily as it would to the MDF with no tape and it's going to hold it really steady in position. But what it means, and here's some work that I, I'm dealing with at the moment, it means that at the end of the procedure, and hopefully you can see a few lines on here, you can peel off the carpet tape, uh, sorry, you can peel off the plastic tape and it will take the lino off as well, and um, you can reuse the board. The other advantage of this, if I go back to the piece that I'm working on, here I've got a print, and this bit of lino is actually, um, I'm not going to use this piece. So in I'm going to cut this piece off completely and remove it. And I can simply dig a trench here to separate it from the main part of the picture and then peel the whole thing off. That can go away and it's really simple to do. So it's a good hack for being able to reuse that MDF. So I've been doing this for a little while now and I'm on, I think, third or fourth use of that MDF and it works fine. You just coat it with packing tape each time and go ahead and use it. So I hope that's a helpful tip. If you've enjoyed this film and you'd like to see more, please subscribe to the channel. And if you've liked this episode, please hit the like button because it really helps with our viewing figures. And I'll see you in the studio next time.